Here's a brand new picture from an appendix truncata. It just opened, it unfurled over the last two days. This is the peristone surrounding the mouth or this opening here. And I'll get, let you peek down, see inside. She's a deep little channel, a little tube here, and uh, you'll see there's a liquid there. That liquid was in the bottom already when the trap opened but the trap is huge and can take a fair bit more than that that's only just down right here if uh, there we go you can see this shiny inside slippery lower section and this not so slippery drier section up here in a lot of these Nepenthes, this line between this shiny and this dry is down in here somewhere, depending on the species. So when it's down here, you never want to fill it above that line. But the truncata can actually catch enough water, it'll actually flow out here if it overflowed without damaging the, the pitcher. If this water touched this liquid down here, once it contains insects or other prey items and is starting to digest, if that liquid touches this side up here, it will actually make this die. It'll damage it. But this waxy surface in here where all the glands are, it's actually like it's uh, resistant to it, I guess. So here's the edge of the peristone. This is the fluted edge here. And there's all sorts of nectar comes out on this surface, but most of it comes out under the edge in here. There's this, what you call a bass hanging on right here which also gets filled with nectar. So does the underside of this lid. That lid doesn't stop much rain. It deflects a little away, but this plant actually wants to catch a fair bit of rain. It's a thirsty plant and it'll use that wa water, any excess water, to top off what it needs in its leaf. Which is supposedly this thing. I say supposedly because it's not a real leaf, it just looks like a leaf, acts like a leaf. But in this case, it's not quacking like a duck, so it's not a duck, it's a pseudo leaf, a fake leaf. But this is the real leaf here. It changed into a pitcher, so the plant needs to photosynthesize. So it just stretched out its petiole, its stem looted it out up here as a leaf. Even looks like it has veins, but those veins are sort of worked into the leaf from the vascular bundles from the stem. There are veins on this, as you might be able to see. There are leaf veins here. So this plant has changed its leaf to do this, catch animals. And it catches lots of kinds of animals too. Catch this guy here will easily catch small rodents, crabs, lizards, frogs, snakes, whatever. Small snakes. And this is only a small picture, they get much larger than this one, too. I'll feed him in another video, but actually, something I'm going to show you, I'm going to do right now is just top up the water because this is not growing outside. I'm just going to throw a fine splash of water down in the middle of this. Takes a lot of water. There we go. It's not bad at all. This can take it right up another two or three inches deep. No problem. Anyway, that's the killer leaf of an Nepenthes truncata, a new one. And as they get bigger, I'll show you more of them.